you need to select this 2d element and you will need to associate the right parameter with this 2d element so that it matches the width of our door opening as well so select this family click on edit type and then we have the width option here so right now it is set to 500 you can of course manually change it but i would like it to automatically adjust as in when i change the size of our door so if you would like it to automatically adjust itself you need to associate a family parameter so to associate a family parameter on the right we have the associate family parameter option and here i'm going to select width option and then click on ok but the problem now is it is associated to the parameter which is width but this parameter is a bit too big for the opening the opening needs to be our rough width minus the size of our frames so let's go to our family types again and under width or next to width we have 1200 let's add a formula here so we're going to add a formula in revit so this is going to be a rough width minus two times so you can add minus or dash a bracket and then you can add two times our frame width so this is our frame width so let's add two times our frame space width make sure it is the same name as what is shown here even the spacing needs to be correct if it is for example a smaller name then it wouldn't work we have this uh, error here the following is not a valid parameter so make sure it is the same name and then tap enter so right now you can see our width the actual width the opening width is 1100 because it is the rough width 1200 minus two times the frame width and now if i click on ok you can see that our opening is exactly between our frame and now if i adjust the types so if i go to type one you can notice that it adjusts accordingly as well.